9.55 and I'm starting this vlog out um with realizing I never restarted my D10 last night. Last night, after my Lasix push, after I pushed in Heffron's, I turned my neck on. But I didn't turn my D10 back on. And my D10 helps with my pots and it helps my body stay hydrated through the week. So, it's very important. So, I went the whole night without that. And I had no idea. So, I'm going to restart that. And I was, I'm dealing with some shooting arm pain like the type of pain I got after surgery so I don't know what the deal is so I just paused the infusion to flush to make sure it was flushing but it's flushing fine so don't know what the pain is about but I'm going to connect back and then I'm going to eat some breakfast because I need to eat but this happened last week too guys like how does this keep happening so often like last week and this week I have no idea. This is my life. So I am waiting for the nurse to come by right now. and But the RN from my home health is coming today. It needs time now, I guess. Um, and she's going to do a research, which a research is when they basically just go over all the information. Just make sure everything is good. Or is it a supervisory visit? I don't remember. And with, like, research and supervisory visits, like, it's their policy. They have to come in person, but it's, like, it can be so fast and so easy. So, like, we're all like, why can't we just do it over the phone? But we can't. So, both supervisory and research typically are pretty short, pretty cut and dry. So, I'm going to try to finish taking my medicine before the nurse comes. Um, but my mom is at a doctor's appointment for her, so... I'm here with my little brother Justin, so it's just me and him for right now. Right now, I am waiting for the vlog to finish rendering so I can upload it. Yesterday's vlog, but today's upload, but yesterday's up it's, it's a little confusing, I know. Um, but I ate lunch a little bit ago, took my 2 o'clock dose of meds, and while it's rendering, I've been, or I'm about to start going over what schoolwork I have to do. So I know I said yesterday was my last day of school and it was. In my class, when we meet for the first week of the new of the second semester, we need to already have a week's worth of work done. So I'm just going over it and it's not that much. Um, I'm going over it because I kind of just want to get most of it out of the way because I just, I don't want to be like anxious or stressed about it when I'm still on break and still like like, if I have a chance to be on a break, I'm going to get a chance. So, I'm just going to do try stuff ahead of time and just spread it out since I have, like, quite a while to get all of this stuff done. So, that's what I am doing. I am just going to see what exactly I have to get done. And I'm excited for the first vlog. I hope you guys like these vlogs. Um, yeah. But I am still connected. And I'm going to be connected for a while because of my messing up not resuming my D10 last night, so I get to be accessed for a while longer, probably until like tomorrow morning now, but that is okay. As long as I get it, it's good. The nurse came, she drew blood. I can't, can't remember if I told you guys that, and I'm going to get back to this, and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, you can actually see me. I have my YouTube light on. It's dark outside, so that's why there's not any natural light. I just got Lara Bar, which is a protein bar and literal lifesavers because I need some protein. And you would think that needing food, you would automatically feel like the hungry feeling in your stomach. But that doesn't always happen for me. And I do have gastroparesis and get dysmotility. So I have learned over the past couple of years to really hone in on my body symptoms especially on the afternoon like I was like feeling a little bit more potsy than normal and weak and I wasn't hungry I'm still not hungry but um sometimes like that I hone into because when my body needs protein in general when somebody's body needs protein it needs it for energy so that's for me for me it's energy, so I'm going to get a little bit of this. It is almost dinner time, but I cannot wait until dinner. Or 
I'm just going to crash. It's really, really easy for me to crash if I don't eat um, fast enough. So I'm going to eat this protein, drink some water, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey guys, sorry the light isn't on. Um, so this clip you'll just have to suffer with maybe not so great of lighting. But um, I thought I would share one of the things I do. Like when I actually, when I have time. When I have time, I love coloring and my Mindo friend sent me a coloring book and so I'm about to color in that and I like the adult coloring, like the details and it's really soothing and um, it's a really good coping mechanism for my anxiety too. So I'm going to start coloring with that. Um, I was going to say something else and I can't remember what I was going to say. Next. I guess that's just how this clip is going to go. Hey guys, so I wanted to share something really fun with you. So I have a runner and I am in a group called I Run For Michael and it's where the runner, Facebook group. Facebook group and um, when someone has a chronic illness they can be connected to what is called their buddy and they run marathons for those who can't. So I've been sent all the medals that my runner has received and she was so, so, so sweet, and she sent me two ornaments and a gift card, and it was so sweet, and I, I have to show you guys. I just, I have to. She sent this little ornament. How cute and thoughtful is that? And then she also sent this one right here, which is so cute. So thank you very much. I don't know if you watch my videos, but thank you, Marie. It's very, very thoughtful. And it was a really nice surprise that I wasn't expecting. But I wanted to share with you guys because those are some pretty cool ornaments. But we just finished dinner. We had breakfast for dinner, which we have every once in a while, and it was really yummy. But here's an up-close view yeah. of our Christmas tree, if you're curious. Now I'm going to go... Oh, I should. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Now you can see it with the lights. This is our Christmas tree close-up. Almost every single ornament on this Christmas tree has a sentimental meaning. Like, for example, this one I was made in 2006, and that was little me. And then this one it's like from 2010 so everything is every ornament on here is really sentimental and really yeah we just we're a very big christmas ornament family so i'm going to go because this is about to die oh yes yeah wherever we go we do get an ornament to remember it so it's a really special tradition we have and Every year we realize that we should probably get an extra Christmas tree, <laughs> even though we have no place for it. We were joking about like building an extension just for a Christmas tree. We get a new house. Get like one of those 20 foot Christmas trees. Say that again? Get a new house and get one of those 20 foot Christmas trees. True. But I like our house. I like our house too. I'm going to go because this is about to die. So, see you guys in a little bit. Alas, here I am in the same spot again where I ended the vlog last night in my medicine spot at the kitchen table. But today's vlog wasn't very eventful and it wasn't very interesting so I apologize for that. I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. I forgot to mention that today my legs have hurt and I don't know why but they have. I think it's because I'm building back up my endurance. So walking, but like, we're like unusually painful, so they're a lot better now, so I don't know what that was about. Um, and then a little bit ago, I just got slapped with a bunch of anxiety for no reason at all. No reason. No, no trigger. Just, bam, anxiety, which is not fun, especially before bed. I'm going to end out this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like this video. Totally just got a trash can in. Grim, whatever. Like this video. Subscribe down below. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.